Creating programs, initiatives, and assisting young adults with gaining employment helps them become productive citizens in today's society. Here to share more from Slate is Dr. Alice Prince and Hilary Scucky. Thank you for being here today, Thanks ladies. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about Slate's youth programs, Dr. Prince. Okay, so Slate's youth program is the number one in the world. In the world? In the world. <laughs> how, do we, how do we come to this conclusion? Because our city is the number one city in the world. No, because uh, we have a beautiful, uh, we have a program with uh, dedicated team members that really do what they can and go over and beyond to meet the needs of the young people where they are. We keep our finger um, on the pulse of the city, on the pulse of the needs, on the pulse of the challenges, on the obstacles, and we really create programming that empower, educate, and employ. And that's what all of the programs are about. So then tell me, Dr. Prince, how do you figure out where the kids are and where you need to be? Because everybody says their finger's on the pulse of helping kids. What are you really doing? Uh, the difference between, between me and others is the fact that I have street credibility. I don't find them, they find me. So when they have challenges, when they have issues, when they want to get employed, when um, they have somebody that's incarcerated, they reach out and say, hey, I need this person to get into my Prison to Prosperity program. Hey, I got tickets and warrants. Can I get into your Civil liberty, Liberties program? That's the one difference um, that we do have that street credibility. We do what we say we're going to do. How we talk it is how we truly walk it. And that's what you need when you deal with young people with barriers to employment. Ms. Hillary, well, both of you, we're going to talk about a specific program in a minute. But Ms. Hillary, right now, tell me what do these young people find when they come to you? What do you offer them? We offer them a variety of things, but the support is number one. Um, we set them up with case management that is accessible to them and the needs. They have a, a mentor that's 24 hours to them, and they're able to call them at any time. So we're able to set up the student with a vast variety of opportunities with employment, with education, and being involved in the community. So tell me, how does a student get into your program? So for the 24-hour workforce um, high school, they will come in and have an interview, fill out paperwork. They'll be assigned a case manager and also an educational mentor that will work around the clock with them. If they want to come to school at no matter what time, they'll call myself or their mentor and we will meet them. Um, no matter what, if they need help with housing, different barriers, we're able to guide them and supply them with resources. You mentioned the 24-hour work program. Before you tell me exactly what that is, Dr. Prince, how did you even come to the place where you said we need something like this? Well, one is because I think young people have an opportunity, I mean, they deserve the opportunity to have open access and 24-hour access to prosperity, right? Our jails are open 24 hours a day for them. Our hospitals are open 24 hours a day if they get shot. We need to have an open access to education, to prosperity. We have to continue to meet their needs. The systems that we currently have are not meeting everyone's needs. And our system does, you know, our system does help that young person who's dropped out of that third or fourth high school that's dealing with those real adult issues, who's trying to have two pieces of a part-time job, make their parole visit, and take care of their family. They deserve a, a hand up, not a hand out. We deserve collectively to have a better educated workforce um, that will attract businesses to us, that will decrease crime. There's a direct crime coalition uh, coalition with that um, so I mean that that's what I mean when I say we do have our fingers on the pulse of the city and the needs of, of the individuals um, our young people what were some of the things you were finding that the young people really needed that you wanted to incorporate into some of the programs that Slate offered um, open access young people have two jobs but you know they don't have a training program that's going to work around those two jobs but they really want to get a high school diploma or um, a GED, that was one. Um, having a criminal record is another one. So helping them to navigate the criminal justice system so that they can uh, talk to their probation and parole. Having an education mentor, a mentor and a tutor at the same time kind of fused together to help them with their studies. Having a case manager that's holistically going to look at all the issues that they're dealing with and help them navigate through all the systems, whether it's probation and parole, FSD system, health care, mental health, substance abuse. That's a lot. That's overwhelming for me as an adult. 
um, to work around. So our, so our case managers really help our young adults work around their real adult issues. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll talk more about that and we'll get into this 24-hour high school program that you have over at Slate. Stay with us at STLI. We'll have more with Slate Young Adult Workforce right after this break.